despairingly bad, but it's probably better than nothing. It's not like No Man's Sky. No, what was that used for? Mighty number nine, that's it. Alright, so Morocco is keen to just sit there and die themselves. I'm not so keen on dying, but thankfully the French are making their way into Tunis. That works for me. With a bit of chance I could just surrender Tunis. And that would get me out scot-free. Jake, you play him very hard, right? Of course I play him very hard. I wouldn't dream of any other way. Okay, I think... Uh I think the Moroccans can win this, especially if I give them my support. So I want to see uh, see you get locked in, and I'll just jump on into that battle. And hopefully it won't instigate some French... Uh... Oh wow, you don't even need me there. I'll take it though. I will take it. Now the Portuguese are running to... Dra? Uh, they're probably going to run farther than that though. Quite a bit farther than that. Nice of Morocco to attach to me though. We get our land back. And where, where did the war score go? Did they just uh, crush a whole bunch of um, Tunisians? Maybe somebody else was paying more attention than me. Portugal does not want that land. Are you sure? Because apparently it's uh, their vital interest. a shame because I would love to uh, I would love to just offer up the uh, Tunisian land but it's all coming out of me ha huh. could make Yaka release the Congo that would amuse me greatly but sadly they're not interested in that in the slightest Jake doesn't AI look at total enemy army strength when declaring Great Britain is one of the best allies for you as it won't get declared you won't declare you won't get declared even by France. Doubt that, but I'm still going to pursue an alliance with them. What I'm going to do in that interest is start improving relations with them. And I think that the north is a lost cause, so I'm gonna bring you down here. Hopefully to somewhere that we have enough supply limit. Gao is usually kinda good, but Timbuks too will do. Just stay with me. Because we don't stand a chance, especially against tear shows. Now how about my heavies? They're looking okay. Best of all, no one's attacking me down here. Uh, the Brunei's do want to rise up though. Only ever so slightly, however. So what I can do is march you in with 2.5 reduction and put you there with another 2.75 reduction. And then we shouldn't see them rise up at all. That's the hope at least. I can afford to be hopeful. Jake, try spitting out Asian nations to get out of this war. I'm not quite ready to be groveling. I'm sure I will be soon, but not right now. Maybe I'm dancing with danger by trying to go over here near their mega fleets. But damn it, I deserve some victories in this war. Holy crap, that's the French. No, uh, that's the Spanish fleet. Thankfully, they're heading over to the Gap. Also, thankfully, there's not a lot of them. Maybe I should fight them. Maybe that's a stupid thing to do. Hmm. Hmm. One, one, three. He doesn't appear to have anybody on his side. Jake, maybe it's a brilliant strategy. You make a good point. Maybe it is. The Spanish do have plus 10% uh, heavy ship combat ability, which is a little disheartening. I could have morale of navies plus 10%. And morale strength is based on maximum morale. Who am I kicking out for this? Improve relations guy. Well, he is pretty handy. But, uh, that's worth a fresh shot. We'll give it a go, will we? I mean, they seem confident enough about it. And how badly are they going to kick my ass here? 
There's no extra morale in the next um, next thing, at least. Wow, I actually out morale them, and I out combat with them ever so slightly. Come on, rip them to shreds, lads. Oh, I'm knocking down some heavies and some lights, that's good. I mean, this isn't good, but the other thing is. Oh, I got my claim on you now. They're not going to like it, but I really want to conquer Japan soon. One should do for me there. I'm going to need a bit more if I want to claim more of Pasai, and I want to claim more of Pasai. I want to roll on in and eat that guy inside out. Alright, so one, two of my boats gone, make that three. Am I even sure I'm going to win this? They have a lot of boats. That's four of mine gone. And the game is warning me about my, uh, my dying fleet there. Am I trying to lose piety here? Because the way I have this set up almost looks like I am. Oh well, what the hey. Doesn't affect uh, naval morale. Uh, my boats are getting uh, getting slam dunked here. However, so are theirs. Theirs are getting slam dunked harder. An incredible victory on the high seas. Worth the whole 1.4 on the uh, on the war score there. Unfortunately, now I lack a whole heap of sailors. We need to get back and get repaired. That was pretty good. That was pretty damn good. Can I have more of that? Jake, dead colony. Wait, what? Oh, whoa, ho, ho. Thank. Who can I thank for that? Asselker, you just saved. 489 lives. And for that, I thank you. Yak is still angry, but what else is new? Oh, and then there's you guys, aren't there? smoked there. Okay. 21 regiments of the Lesser Nam Clan, or a whole bunch of autonomy in lands that I'm not sure I care that much about. Maybe it's worth thinking that some of that is trouble if it's autonomy in uh, unstated provinces. Toreg rule Timbuktu justly. We've been fair to the different tribes. Okay, so it looks like all countries, uh, all provinces of my culture, because I saw AIR there, amongst others. So if I take one look at uh, the autonomy map mode, because I am really good at seeing map modes here. Man, this is why I shouldn't ever stop playing. Am I at... There we go. Local autonomy. Yeah, most of it we don't really care about that much. And plus it gives me extra stability, so I'll take it. Tja, don't care that much about it. I mean, the cape is a bit of a loss. Now it's up at 90. I'd rather it wasn't at any, but hey-ho. Well, maybe it's a bit of a concern just standing around so close to death. So we'll get all you guys down south a bit. And then I really need to repair up just a wee bit. Oh wow, we got a whole bunch of trans uh, transports nicked out of that. I could drain their sailors and use them elsewhere. Jake, shouldn't you build some docks to remedy the sailor situation? That would, uh, that would sort itself. What the heck? Pulling a uh, Hearts of Iron 4 on me here. What are you doing here, Milan? 
Oh, jeez, the war isn't looking too great. We are losing pretty hard because of occupations now. They seem to have a whole lot occupied in yeah, French Brazil. Star Platinum is also feeling the pain. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Thank God you were saved. Let's go and deal with the uh, guys in Manila as well. I'm sure they're itching to rise up too. Alright, so what are the Milanese going to do? Well, with Tech 15, probably destroy me. We bring plenty of cannons and have a uh, massively good fire general. However, I have Moroccan cannons. I have to go and get some new uh, tribal scum. What's that? I'm a tribe? Doesn't seem likely. And I don't know why he's going for Gobir, probably because he knows that it's prosperous. Oh, nice of them to go away as soon as I try to move in there. Not so nice to know that they're telepathic like that, but what are you going to do? Tuscany is going home, and Morocco is just burning. But I am getting war score for holding Cephala, which makes me feel all the worse about all these uh, provinces that they are occupying. This is not so good. Then again, it's only 54 to get me out of this. We'll see where we can go with that. Damn Portuguese running away. It's so hard to capture any of these guys. Alright, Palopo's done, so maybe it won't even revolt on us. I got you converted, so uh, wasn't the whole uh, whole point there. I wanted to add you to the um, the trading thingamajigger. Ah, you're probably better off in Palopo anyway. Treat them mean, keep them keen. Hi, Jake. Haven't watched you in ages because of finals. Oh, good luck with that. Do you think you can get by with a 2-2 these days? I, I get by with absolutely nothing, so absolutely. Grades are overrated. You sure you don't want any delicious Tunisian land? Yeah, that's the best thing, just take all of Tunis and then uh, worry about that later. Versailles discovered me whilst I was fabricating, which is a damn shame, so I won't be really getting more claims on them. I guess that's okay though. I guess. Still, a little bit scary the whole situation there. Also, also, it's only 13 Portuguese heavies. And if I just leave my damaged one back home, maybe I can destroy them. They don't have a general. And they probably don't have good ideas for fighting on the high seas. Well, to get the Spanish, I'm sure I can take you down too. Bring it on. Okay. Jake, can't you release Clemson or something from Tunis? Uh, I don't think I can release stuff from my ally. Just from me or my vassal. And they don't seem that interested in it, and they're not interested in this land. I wonder what land they are interested in. Cephala, of course. And Trarza, well they've always wanted Trarza, which is right here. Still though, stalling out this war is giving us uh, more... Oh man, I'm liking these events. More promising looking peace. And are just annihilated Bengal, that's tragic. Ava's growing pretty strong under the uh, celestial protection. And these guys don't want to revolt, which is also good. This is very much delaying my uh, Asian conquest. And it's eating into my boats. The whole point of these boats was to... Uh, okay, I'm not, I'm not doing so hot on this at all. I wonder why the Portuguese are punching so much harder. 
That said, I'm also taking down their heavies, so I should be grateful for that. Boy, am I taking down their heavies. Run away, you fools. Run away. Now we, we got alright with that. Just as well we run away, because here comes the French Armada. Well, I'm winning some minor battles in the high seas, but it's not quite enough. At the very least, I'm reducing their overall numbers. Hopefully they don't replace them too hard, and then next time we fight, I can just keep all my heavies right here and say, you shall not pass. It's for the first time actually playing a game, and I care that much about the Gibraltar Strait. Bring all your heavies together, Jake. It's foolish not to at this point. Ah, the only heavy I don't have together with these guys is over here. Wait, was he? No, he's over there. Besides, only so many heavies can fight at one time, so it's not all that amazing. So about those docks, Jake, uh, we'll worry about that later. And I want out of this war. I want them to take over Tunis, so I can sell out Tunis, but maybe they don't even want any Tunisian land. And I hope they're not sending uh, troops down here to take Cephala, because if they are, I need to get out of this war immediately. situation for these guys looks a bit grim. Yeah, I could probably ambush those uh, Portuguese, but my own fleets are pretty damaged. Or is it my own armada is pretty damaged, who's to say? You, however, could probably snipe that pretty hard. Go for it. That galleon's probably going to die if I do, though. That's good enough, though. Cheap git knows I'm coming. Isn't Tunis about to peace out on their own soon, anyway? Nah, they've still got high war enthusiasm. For as long as such a thing can last. The Ottomans still are not friendly, sadly. Oh, that's good. He finally wants something. Well... No, no he doesn't, it seems. I got ahead of myself there. I mean, he's taken it, but he doesn't want it. You know, I wonder if I could get the Portuguese out if I gave them this land. And I clear everything else and I say that you can have this. Then they're pretty happy. Now, if Portugal weren't in this war, the fleet count would... Well, I already crushed Portugal's navy, so that doesn't really matter at all. I wonder if that's worth my time at all. Would weaken Tunis, would strengthen Portugal, but it would make the relative strength in this war go away, and Portugal's uh, occupations here would also go away. Yeah, you know, why not? It's the worst that could happen. Well, I mean, Tunis probably isn't happy with that. Ah, they don't mind so much. But that really shifted the uh, the strength of alliances. No, it didn't. It didn't seem to do that at all. But the war score changed. At least we have that. And there are a fewish polar, uh, polar uh, blah, blah, Portuguese troops on the ground. Is go away some new term for get transferred to Spain? Yeesh. Some savage people here today. Well, that's okay. It's all I can do to survive right now. Uh, Beside, I don't like me. Maybe I still want to spy on the Portuguese to get that extra um, tech costs and such. There we go. They're a good person to spy on right now. And I suspect there's still a lot of stuff that you don't want. Yeah, you don't want any of that delicious Tunisian land. But they'll make do with 47 uh, war score worth of stuff. The length of war is really starting to hurt. 
And the fact is, if they just keep dealing with Tanis and piece them out, then what do I care? Uh, it's a different story if they actually take uh, Cephalia away from me, though. What I think I should do is first curse the French for dancing around like they keep doing. I'm not in a position to actually snipe these guys, or am I? Take care of more French heavies? Uh, they probably just rebuild them in no time and I'd end up losing some heavies that I'm going to need overseas very soon. But damn it, I just see that opportunity and want to take it. No, not worth it. I'm going to actually take my units and go back over to the east because I think this war is pretty much done. There's no fighting that I can do that would benefit me here. They have those Spanish space marines. This is the age of the Spaniard. For better or for worse, and I'm telling you it's for worse. We're going to get ourselves over to the east. I don't know what Timbox to uh, what um, my march is going to do, but that's their problem. Well, I mean, if Morocco just sits there, it's probably one of the best things he can do, not costing me war score with his actions. Uh, of course, the Portuguese got out of this, despite me really wanting Natal. <laughs> the Portuguese immediately go to war because they're warmongering fools. Uh, that's not so good. It's one heavy versus my transports, and he's just costing me more and more of my sailors, so let's get out of that one. Force row your way out of there, lads. Alright, well, 0% war score, and I wonder how much of that is occupations in Tunis. Jake, the eternal Spaniard strikes again. Imagine if they were free, they'd be banging that Genoa node. Now, if they were free, they'd probably be head-to-head uh, -head against France. Best thing France could do is just, oh god, not spawn more hellspawn. Spaniards. French. Bastards. Okay, hopefully, well, you know, I would probably demolish that. To the point where I'm willing to find out. And hopefully, the rest of my fleet will be safe enough to go on. France is hiring Burgundian units now? What is this? It's very sad for me, is what it is. Still, what I'm thinking is, do I bring these units across? Am I certain that there are no threats along the way? Well, who can ever really be certain, but on you go anyway. Right, Sweden's fighting Denmark. Great Britain is involved. Still really want that alliance with Great Britain. And they'll take it once I'm not in war anymore. That's nice. And they're not a, an Ottoman enemy either. Right, so Sweden fighting Denmark, where the Commonwealth holds Skåne. That's uh, interesting camouflage they got going there. What's interesting to me though is that Norway has no big friends and Norway wants to also establish themselves in the Spice Islands. Well I want to pick on Norway and take these colonies away from them because they're eating up this node that's very important to me, the Zanzibar node. I need to have uncontested control over it and both Ethiopia and Norway get in my way there. Which means I need to snipe these off of them. The best thing you can do is keep colonizing for me though, because I can just take those provinces off of them, especially if he takes these Sunni ones. That would be very nice. And then I just smash him, he won't have the heavies to defeat me, everybody wins except for Norway. Hmm, hang on. There's a lot more uh, Spanish... oh, I'm already locked in. 
I might end up running away from that battle. Or rowing away from that battle. Where, is, where are you all going? I was going to Ivory Coast. You know, I see that and I think this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. It's not worth it. It doesn't even have any units on them. Not worth it. Although I got to murder a few of those over there, so it's just always nice to hold them up just a little bit. Are you sure you don't want these provinces? Are you really sure you don't want these provinces? I can give you everything you could ever want. And he says no. The guy says no. He just wants my precious land. Well, I'm going to have to start thinking about peace real soon. And the problem is when Tunis go, sure it might uh, turn the war score in my favour, but it also means relative strength of alliances go out the window. We've fought them down a fair bit, even without fighting any uh, land battles ourselves. Jake, what wouldn't you do without having those six heavies from Brunei? But you're a stubborn one, sire. Well, I need those guys for their um, their sailors right now. Come to think of it, they're probably going to have to drink from the sailor pool pretty soon. Also, the combat width would, uh, would keep me stifled anyway, so I'm not too scared of that. It's almost like they're chasing me. Oh, they didn't catch me. I wasn't paying attention to that. You're going to take this without any problem. However, you're going to go over to Palopo and get shot to hell because the fire phase comes first. Go, go! You can defeat them. Oh, sorry, I was speaking to the French there. Right, the Makassari Separatists should go up there to fight us. And I still really want to fight Visai here. Patani wouldn't get involved, not that that means much. They have one province left now. Your horror back on the map, which you don't often see, and you never see Thrak. So, happy days over there. Austria should be our friend. No, the Ottomans should be our friend, but the... Uh, they see no goodness in all that. Army strength, neutral attitude, very hard. Wouldn't even give us a marriage. Although if I did something about that distance between borders, that would change a thing or two. No easy way to do that, but still. Well, a no CB on Cy uh, Cyprus, that would be the best CB, and get us in with the Ottomans. They want that province, so hopefully they wouldn't turn hostile to us over it. All right, it's up to uh, Morocco to show us all how to fight. What a thing of beauty! Uh, I think it's safe to say that we are getting, we've got gains here. Jake, how is Milan's enthusiasm? All the enemy is feeling great about it all. Why wouldn't they? They're winning. There's so much winning. Wait, what? They have 12 units there going to the Mozambique Channel. That slippery French scum, I wonder where they're going. Hmm. They're trying to land some units over in Lindy. Only 12 of them. Incidentally, I have an army here that would be able to defeat them. Portuguese are sharp. I wonder if it's worth tacking now whilst I to have that little bit of spy network. Nah, I don't need it. Well, it's a shame, but I can go and fight them. Might as well win a battle while we're here. And as expected. 
expected. They come to fight. Well, actually, part of me wonders if this battle is worth fighting.